What's up, everybody? It's Friday, TGIF. Hope, hopefully everybody has a great Friday, great weekend. This is going to be my first React video. Um, have not done one of these as of yet on the channel, so maybe a little rough, but I just had to get this out there. Gladiator 2 trailer dropped earlier this week, and currently the trailer is getting ratioed. As I pointed out in my video yesterday, the ratio had grown since it was reported 24 hours prior that it had like 50,000 dislikes. Well, it was up over the it was up over the 200,000 mark and now the ratio is 131,000 likes to 268,000 dislikes. So the ratio now has doubled. And I just got to say, there was no need for a Gladiator 2 trailer. There wasn't. So that brings me to this. There's a certain YouTuber out there who's starting to break into the mainstream a little bit. Some of you may know him. That would be Mr. Neurotic, Gary Beekler. And uh, he's been making the rounds. He's done a couple interview spots on Piers Morgan's show, Piers Morgan Uncensored. Um, he even did a radio interview with uh, Glenn Beck. So he's starting to break into the mainstream a little bit. And gosh, we just can't have a YouTuber do that. It can't break into the mainstream. So over at the Daily Beast, this is in their obsessed page, category, whatever. This was put out by Joe Hefner. The Gladiator 2 trailer is already getting insufferable backlash. Now, I'm going to blow this up for you folks here. Oh, uh, you can't see the URL. Darn it. The URL didn't blow up. But if you look at the URL, you'll notice that the title had changed. That's right. The title of the article used to be Gladiator 2 trailer is already getting insufferable racist backlash. Hmm, now, why would he change the title? I don't know. But what I'm going to point out here is this. Down in the article, right here, it says, The thumbnail and noted anti-woke YouTuber Neurotic's reaction to the trailer, a Photoshop of Mescal's character wearing gold chains and a pan-African pin, throws that reactionary streak into ugly relief. Never mind the fact that a song being in the trailer doesn't mean it'll show up in the movie. A Super Bowl commercial for the first Gladiator used, but a Kid Rock song for Pete's sake. Now, what he's referencing <laughs> is this. I don't see a problem with it. Perry Chan does excellent thumbnails. I, I, he's lampooning. He's making fun of. There's no racist intention here. In fact, I'm going to go one step further. And this is something I don't normally do. And again, apologize, but this is the first time I'm doing a reaction video. So I'm going to mute the mic and I'm going to play some of Gary's video. And you're going to have As and Mahler on here from the real BBC talking about the trailer. Is that a dude? That's not a dude. Is that a dude? No, that looks that's like a, a chick. No, that's a chick. Look, there's a, there is a definite hint of boba. That's boob armor. Nipple armor. It's got a little nipply going on there. Sure. We all like a little bit of nip. Archer, sure. Who doesn't like a bit of nip? Wait. <laughs> No, we just found out what happened to her. Yeah. That happens when you send women to war. <laughs> the thing is, though, she had an arrow in her, so there's a good chance she shot herself. Don't she, was rule it holding, up. she was holding the bow backwards and then let get. 
Right. Women, you, you've achieved equality. Death and war. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You get to do what we do now. Uh, let's watch the trailer for Gladiator 2. God, I hope we get Titanic 2. Gladiator. Rah, rah, rah. So remember when they talked about this and we all, th uh, you might have been young. Okay. Too young, Mahler. <laughs> but when this, when Gladiator came out, there was immediately talk of a sequel and we're like, Maximus died. That's fucking yeah. ridiculous. It's retarded. It was considered a joke. But, uh, And that, by the way, is what a lot of people are saying about this. Maximus died. There's no need for a sequel. And if you were going to do a sequel, you'd certainly don't wait 24 years later. I mean, it is Hollywood. You can do a, you know, a sequel a couple years later and, and make it set 20 years in the future. But we we all know Hollywood is bereft of creativity. Ridley Scott was very serious about this to the point where 20 years later, we're finally getting one. Um, and it kind of makes sense. But when you watch the trailer, there's some, there's some aesthetic things that we need to discuss. Okay. Although the original idea for the sequel was very different from this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. By the way, yes. Ma by the way, I would have rather have seen it. What Maximus in hell, like yeah. hiding his way back. Hades. Hades. Yeah. Like hell. Yes. I remember that day. Oh, I never forgot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So they're oh, actually they? directly referencing Maximus. Yes. Oh, absolutely. There's a connection. You're okay. seeing it right now. So that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, Ping Majiggy's uh, sister's kid. Grombus. That a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? You think a question like that would have come before this conversation? Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> he's like a prisoner, right? So this guy just comes. You'd think you would have said, who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? So he is a, uh, a, a similar to what was the uh, the guy's character who um from the first one? Oliver the one who died. The one who, the one who died Oliver, like Oliver a Reed. fucking Chad, by the way. Yeah, Oliver Reed, um, yeah. yeah, that's like a hell of a way to go. So former gladiator, freed himself. Uh, now he does, you know, he's got a group of gladiators. And it, it, yeah, so. Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple Rome ever built. Awesome. We're gonna get to kill Pedro Pascal. <laughs> it looks I'm like he's gonna already. be in like a whole movie. I'm in already. So they're putting this part. In. Okay, so that's that's the Coliseum being filled with water. Uh huh. And uh, these are the first water sports. But I'm this. I'm just kidding. Okay. It's not okay. the first water sports. The first water sports go back to the caveman. Uh, but yeah, like this, uh, they did the little sea battles. They're gonna put a little shock in there, and you gotta go get them. Sweet. It does look very CGE, chat. I uh, mm -hmm. I will agree. I will absolutely agree. I, I thought the uh, that looked pretty good. That looks pretty good. I mean, CG, but I think it's it's good looking CG. The color scheme looks good, and yeah. the crowd look good. It doesn't, you know. Well, the premise for this movie is actually interesting. I mean, I would still see Maximus in in Hades. That'd be fucking fun as hell. But uh, like this one is a little more linear. <laughs> yeah. It's a generation later. There's a kid uh, who witnessed Maximus, possibly inspired, possibly has the same upbringing, similar circumstances, and then he kills Pedro Pascal. I'm kind of like, you sold me on this. Yeah. I mean, I like that. Yeah. The greatest temple Rome ever built. The oh, Eddie's in it <laughs> from Stranger Things. Yeah. And he's playing a very different role, which is cool. Yep. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. What? That happened. Did it? Yep. They did it? Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, Gary was there. I was there, bro. <laughs> I'm it's with you, Molly. Power. Power. Oh! oh, there are shots. <laughs> Wait, there are shots. General Acacius. 
There are victories yet still to come. Rome has so many subjects, she must feed them. They can eat war. Do they just do the let them eat cake moment? I mean, let them eat war is a little different. <laughs> well, it's the same premise though, isn't it? We'll feed them on, on something which they can't be sustained on. <laughs> Can I just say, right now, I'm I'm okay with this. What I, I'm watching right now, I'm like, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm up for seeing this. I am fine with it. I I, I will be seeing this movie. I'm I feel be like you'd be seeing it. seeing it even if it was hyper cringe. If it was hyper cringe, I'd still be uh, seeing this movie. I am hungry. Let's go. Slaves into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something in you. I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. <laughs> This is a fucking bring on the rhinos, bitch! Come on, go! Come on! Hold together, and when it charges, break for the wall. So, as you can see, so far. Um, Mr. Hefner's reaction calling Gary's thumbnail or well he's accusing Gary of being insufferable based off the thumbnail to his YouTube video but as you guys can hear um, I'm not hearing anything insufferable about the movie so far. So far, they're saying, you know what? I'm interested in this. This looks pretty good. Maximus and Hades would probably be a better story, but so far, they're pretty decent about it. Oh, that rhino got somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this this, this, this could be cool. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just, I mean, I, I, somebody I'm fine got with done. all this. I'm fine with all of this. It's what comes next. Okay. Is, okay. It, it's not that, like, it, it won't affect the movie. I don't think. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Well, must fall. What is this music? What's the music? <laughs> what is uh, the music? <laughs> it's... And from all the comments that I've seen, that's been the biggest thing is adding in the music from Jay Z to the trailer. Now I get it. The music may not show up in the movie. Fine. But still, why? That's the question. Maybe one of you guys has an answer to it down in the comments. So dumb. It turns into like bad boys at the end. <laughs> you know, it's, like, I, <laughs> it's like, I expect this from a bad boys trailer, not fucking yeah, gladiator. It's an orchestral score, not... Yes. not <laughs> <laughs> I need to only give it a push. make it out alive. Feels yeah. so inappropriate for Gladiator, <laughs> but okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, okay. This is a miss. This bit's a miss. Swig and a miss. All right, all right, all right. Hands on the mausoleum floor. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's so bad, dude. <laughs> Oh no! Why? <laughs> somebody should. I was loving it up until the uh, <laughs> rhino. <laughs> somebody should put like Shrek music to it. You know, <laughs> hey now, you're an all star. Oh no! I wait for the oh. first trailer to do the piano key and then a soft version of that song. Hey now. <laughs> 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, it. some Don't woman singing it slowly yeah. and mumbling. Game on. And then on play, it goes dun 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 dun. And then cuts out. Bomb! Bomb! Oh, well, every trade is the same. Apart from this, this is uh, okay. And it just does all of that. This ring. It belonged to Maximus. Now I give it to you. What is the dream of Rome? That people are not free. <laughs> the guy, last guy who wore that ring died. <laughs> yeah, it's got, it's, got, it's got the little stab on with the poison. Is that? It's just, oh, ow, ow. <laughs> uh, but, um, I'm like just watching the rest of it on mute. <laughs> Denzel being the character he is, that's uh, also historically accurate. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, the zone. now. I will control an empire. Who will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity? Strike the mother! This our road treats the heroes. Dance on the mausoleum floor. <laughs> no, stuff out the yeah. mausoleum floor, please, please. Jesus, you ain't me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get your game on. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> it's not as appropriate as this fucking nonsense. Oh. And he's like rapping about like the Coliseum. Oh God. <laughs> hey man you know it looks like we've got an idea of what the whole story is and it looks like it could be fun i think yeah. we just saw the whole film <laughs> yeah i think we did i think we did uh yeah either they both or just pedro dies probably both die in that fight uh there's the the the, the other guys storm and kill the other people at the end Thanks for this free film. I can't say that I'm jumping up and down with joy, but I thought, look, it could be a fun romp. It doesn't it could uh, be a fun romp. Yeah, like if you leave out that the fucking rap song, it doesn't look as cringe as it could have been. Ridley Scott, really hit and miss. Lots of miss lately. Lots and lots of miss lately. But he's always yeah, been Ridley. hit and miss. Yeah. Yeah. He's not like his bro, Tony. Tony was fucking. Tony. Tony Scott. R.I.P. <laughs> So there you have it. I didn't hear anything bad out of Vaz's mouth, out of Gary's mouth, out of Mahler's mouth. I didn't hear anything bad at all. They had the same reaction to the music that most people have had. Why? And I get it. The music may not show up in the movie. But to say that Insufferable backlash is happening because of a thumbnail on a video. Dude, Joe, come on, man. Watch the video. They actually praise the trailer. They, 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 they like what they see outside of the music. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Um... Do you think Mr. Hefner at the Daily Beast is blowing things a little out of proportion? I mean, I get it. The comments on the trailer <laughs> are pretty are pretty good. Um, and, you know, it is being downvoted. But if you watch Gary's video with As and Mahler, they don't have a problem with the movie. Outside of the music. So that's all I got for now, folks. Um, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So you don't miss an upload. And um, share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.